Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's see what we can code in 5 minutes with Zim. We'll go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and instead of going to grab the code, what we're going to do is add to our last game, which was a bunch of falling things. So we're going to add a score if we catch good things, and we're going to take away lives if we hit bad things. So a little bit different, and for that we're going to use the game module to help out. Uh, we can get that in a couple ways. One is actually to go down in the code page, but you can also go to the docs and grab the game module right here. That's the game module. So I'm copying the URL to the game module. Hoodoomp. And uh, we'll head on back into Adam. This is our code from the last time. And what we're going to do is add the game module here. Well, we can make a copy of that one. And we'll throw the game module in place right like so. So there we are asking for the game module. And we'll come on down and we'll make some changes to the code that we had last time. So let's start the counter. What can we make in five minutes? Here we go. Okay, we will um, get some colors. How about some good colors and some bad colors? So const colors is equal to a new array of red, green, blue, orange, yellow, or something like that. Great. Only the red one will be bad. And then we can pass that into the circle as colors and zim pick. Uh, that's set up for a zim v value, so zim pick will pick randomly from those. Or you could run a ran uh, randomize that and like pick the color each time you go in your interval, but uh, that makes it easy. Okay, so we've got a bunch of different colors, and then down here where we're doing the hit test, we're finding out if we're hitting a circle. Uh, now we will say if circle dot color is double equal to red like that then it's a bad thing else it's a good thing and for the bad thing we will make a const mm, indicator or how about lives it sounds a little bit better lives is equal to a new indicator like that this indicator will have um, a num of three, we'll have three lives, not 30 lives, <laughs> wishful thinking, a num of three and fill colon true. So it will be filled up with a default orange. We'll dot pose that at, um, we should probably put a backing color on it as well. Well, uh, okay. Um, we'll just pose it at 30 comma 30. There we go. And also we'll set the lives E, uh, dot selected index is equal to two. That means it will fill that up with orange things and then we'll take them away whenever it's red. So that will be lives dot selected index is equal to lives dot selected index again minus one. So that does that each time and then we can say if lives.selectedIndex is um, equal to zero, then, or it would be less than, no, equal to zero, no, the zero is the first one, so it's less than zero, that would be minus one, then we will uh, do what? Uh, how about we'll just go to another page at the moment, HTTPS, go on zimjs.com. Okay, it would be, uh, we'd pop up a conclusion pane or whatever it is there. All right, let's see how we're doing. So we refresh here. Whoops. Oh, we don't have it. Is that it? It might be it. Let's try. Well, good. There's the indicator. Here comes some colors. Oh, there's some red ones. We don't have anything going on in those ones, but oh, we hit a red. We hit a red. Two indicators down and one more red and boop, off it goes to Zim. Okay, so I think we're probably good there. That may actually go off to Zim again because, we, well, whatever. And what do we do if we're happy? Uh, oh, we've got a score, so let's make a score. We say const scorer is equal to a new scorer. Um, can't remember, I dot pose, I suppose, 30 comma 30 comma true. This will 
put it at 30, 30 on the right, and that's the score. And in here, we say scorer dot score is equal to, um, well, maybe we have to keep a score. Do we keep a score, or can I just go, can I start off with a score and say plus one uh, equals scorer dot score plus one? We'll try that out. Let's see how it works. Okay, so we refresh here. We check it out. Uh, here comes a red one. We don't want a red one, but it's the first one out of the gate, so we'll lose one. Then we go here. Hey, look at that one. Oh, that's bad. Two. We got two. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we have a game on our hands in five minutes. So we're going to pause that timer at 425 and just uh, do a confirmation over here. Look at us get points. Isn't that amazing? Seven, eight, nine, and... Uh, uh, bum 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 game over we go to zim and uh we do some more cool stuff in five minutes here at zim i am dr abstract all of this code that we're doing in the five minutes can be found at zimjs.com slash five it'll just show you all the stuff that we've been making in that directory you have to kind of dig through it it's like hacking you go oh look at what we can see and find that code there. If you missed it, I know we we whipped through <laughs> we whipped through that a little quickly. Didn't I didn't know I could do it, um, and we did. So if you're still here, come on by zimjs.com/slack and join us there. Also share these things if you wouldn't mind to you know with people. You never know, people out there might want to start coding. This is a very colorful, fun way to code with Zim. Ciao for now. I'm Dr. Abstract, zimjs.com.